Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have my 2018 makeup favorites. I know that it's already a month late, but I still wanted to do it anyway. I kind of wanted to have at least one or two products for each makeup category, I think. Also, if you are new to my channel, I am now trying to post at least one or two videos every week, so don't forget to subscribe and also check out my Instagram, I'm pointing down because it's all in the description box, but yeah, without further ado, let's get on into the video. Okay, to start, for primer, I have two options and all of the things that I am going to mention, I have used today, of course not all of them, but I used at least one product of each, I will mention in the video. So the primer that I used is the Primark Vitamin Primer. I think this is a very good moisturizing primer and it was 4 euros. So this is an incredibly affordable primer and I think that they have this in a matte version and dewy version, I think. It's kind of like a white packaging and black packaging, so I haven't tried the other ones, but this one is very good. And then also for primer and for moisturizer, in 2018 I really loved to use this Kiko Blurring and Moisturizing Face Cream. This was from their uh, spring collection, the Free Soul collection. And this collection was very, very good. And I'm actually still using a lot this cream. I think it's, uh, well, as it says, it's blurring. So it minimizes the pores and is also very refreshing and moisturizing. Then the two foundations that really stood out in 2018 were the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation and the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour. This one is the one that I'm wearing today and is in the shade Nude Beige. And the NYX foundation is in the shade Natural, yeah. So this one is a little bit more expensive and it's a more liquidy foundation. It's got a dropper but this one is very very lightweight on the skin. It's got a kind of buildable coverage and I think overall it gives a very skin-like effect. As for the Maybelline foundation, this one is a little bit more creamy and more full coverage but this one lasts a very very long time is almost a transfer proof foundation and I feel like it also gives a very matte flawless finish so I really like this one too next for concealer I also have one product from Maybelline this is the instant age concealer or the instant age rewind I think that there's those two names and this one is in the shade light and I think that this has a very very good coverage and it also helps a lot to correct some dark circles but the one that I'm wearing today is the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer this one also has a very good coverage and I have two shades, I have the shade C4 and the shade C6, that is this one that I'm wearing. And yeah, I think that this blends very well, it's got a very nice coverage and this one also works very very well for like priming the lid for eyeshadow and doing cut creases, things like that. This one is very very good. For powder, I have another two options, one a little bit more expensive than the other and the more expensive one is the Kiko Invisible Touch powder and this is a loose translucent powder and this gives a very very silky 
feeling to the face and this one is the one that I'm wearing today I think this one really helps to set the base and make it last longer especially for like my smile lines that tend to crease a little bit more I think this one helps a lot but another really good powder that I would recommend is the Primark Banana Pressed Powder and like the primer this one is also for Eros well, like it says, it's a banana pressed powder but I think that this is very smooth and is also very very easy to use and also to brighten up the under eye area is very good and I think that for the price this one is very nice then continuing with base products, I have a bronzer and like the moisturizer, this one is also from a limited edition. This is the Kiko Gold Waves bronzer, but they usually have bronzers like this on their limited edition collections, so it's very likely that you'll find something just like this one. This is in the shade 01 and it's a baked bronzer and it smells like chocolate, smells amazing it's got a very nice mirror too and this one is kind of a warm toned bronzer and I think it blends very very well and this has a crazy amount of product so you can have one bronzer and it will last you a very long time. Then for blush, I also only have one product. This really stood out this year and it really surprised me, especially for the price. This is another product from Primark. This is the PS High Pigment Blush and this was 2 euros 50, so it's super super cheap for a blush and this is in the shade so peachy so it's really like the color that I love to use I think it blends very well and it gives kind of that subtle flushed color to the skin they do have it in some other really cool shades but this one is really the kind of shade that I love to use and then for highlight I have a uh, one highlighter palette and this is the Soph X Revolution highlighter palette so there are eight highlighter shades in here the one that I'm wearing today is this one that is kind of a champagne-y color but I really love especially the top row there's a very light highlighter a gorgeous gold shade and also if you have a darker skin tone these two I mean these three would be very very good and there's also a kind of pop of color if you want to do something more creative and yeah I think that overall there is a highlighter shade for everything in here and this is also a very very pigmented highlighter palette so I would definitely recommend this one then for brows I have two brow products and I am using both of them the first one is the Revolution Pro Brow Pomade I have mine in the shade Ebony that is a very dark brown color and I think that for kind of a more beginner person this is actually a very easy product to use I think that it's not too pigmented right away so at least for me that makes it a lot easier to use and then the next product is the Essence Make Me Brow Gel Mascara this one I use with other products on its own if I don't want to do anything to them I can just use this and it will look very very nice this one I found out about it more recently and yeah now I have a really good eyebrow combo that I really love to use now moving on to eyeshadow and eye products 
My favorite eyeshadow primer of 2018 was definitely the Kiko Neutral Eye Base and I think that this one works really well both to conceal the color of your lids and to help blend the eyeshadow better so this one is definitely a must-have for me and for eyeshadow palettes it was really hard to pick only one or two so I picked three that I think really stood out in 2018 for me the first one is kind of my go-to eyeshadow palette for both more creative and more neutral looks and it is the Soph X Revolution eyeshadow palette this was her first collab with Revolution and this one is the one that I am wearing today so the palette looks like this and what I did today was I used this shade all over the lid then I used this one on my crease I deepened up my outer corner with this one and then I used this blue-brown color all over the lid then on my lower lash line I used this one all over and I used this one on the outer corner and then I highlighted my inner corner and brow bone with this one so that's kind of more of a blue-brown eyeshadow look and there's also a lot that you can do with this you got a lot of those coppery colors, oranges, more red tones you got a really nice matte black and a really nice mirror so I really used a lot this palette throughout the year then another palette that stood out mostly in the fall was the Revolution Reloaded Iconic Division palette and this is a dupe palette for the Anastasia subculture and I really love to play with the warmer colors in here a lot of those orangey and brown tones also the greens are very very good I really love this kind of coppery brown shimmer so yeah, I think that this is a gorgeous palette for the fall I, I think that's all of the sort of colors that I like to use on that time of year but overall this is a very good palette and then another palette that I purchased last year and became one of my favorites was the NYX Ultimate Bright Eyeshadow Palette this one has a lot of... well it's kind of a rainbow in a palette and I've really used this one to do more creative looks my fiance actually picked this palette for me to do a look with I did kind of blue, green, yellow thing it's ridiculous, you can go check it out and then I also used it to do kind of more of a sunset eyeshadow look and yeah, this is a very bright, very pigmented palette that is probably a very nice thing to have in every collection if you like to do kind of more creative colorful looks and then for eyeliner I have three products the first one is for the waterline and this is the Kiko Everlasting Kajal this is a black pencil liner and this is super super creamy and it's what I am wearing on my upper and lower waterline this one is very very pigmented and it also lasts a very good time and then for eyeliner itself I have two products the one that I'm wearing is the NYX Epic Ink Liner this one is very black and I think it's very very easy to use and this one has is actually a brush tip I know it looks like a, a felt tip liner but it's got a, a brush tip and I think this one is actually a dupe for the Kat Von D tattoo liner and I really really love this one I don't even feel curious to try the other one and yeah this is also waterproof so it lasts a very long time and then another liner that it was 
also another surprise product from Primark is this PS liquid liner. It just says that it was one euro fifty, and this is kind of a pot uh, liquid liner. And this one, I feel like it's also very easy to use. It's also very pigmented and black. It dries out quickly. This one, I haven't actually tested if it's waterproof or not. I believe it's probably not. But yeah, this one also looks very, very good and for the price is a very good option. Then for mascara, I have two that really stood out in 2018. The one that I'm wearing is the L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic or the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I think it's the same thing. So this one is actually getting a little bit old and more dry formula but I think it's still looking very very good and this gives a very good volume to the lashes. And then another one that I think it's almost comparable to this one is the Kiko Standout Volume Buildable Mascara. This has that kind of similar hourglass wand but this one is a plastic wand and yeah, I think they're kind of comparable. This one probably has a more wet formula than this one, but I like both of them almost equally. And I think that this one gives a little bit more of a false lash effect, but in terms of volume and length, I think they're very comparable. Okay, then for lip products, this was very hard to choose and so I have five lip products. I know it's kind of crazy, but yeah. So the first one is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. That at first I was a little bit with mixed feelings about this because if you apply a lot of product, then it kind of flakes on your lips. But actually, if you don't apply too much product and spread it out and leave it dry, it dries very well, very matte, very transfer proof. So I've used this shade a lot, mostly in the summer. It's a very bright orangey red. And yeah, I think that this is very, very nice. I love the fact that it's transfer proof and long wearing. Then another liquid lipstick is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. And this is in the shade Can. And this is the one that I'm wearing. So this one is very, very comfortable. The Maybelline one is a little bit more drying. But as the name says, this is a lip cream, so it's very creamy and I really like the texture on the lips. It's a matte, but it's very light and I also love this color. I think it's the kind of not very nude color that I love to wear. And then I have another matte lipstick. This time is a bullet lipstick. And this is the Kiko Velvet Passion Matte Lipstick and my favorite one was definitely the shade 311. This is a bright red lipstick and this is also very very creamy. Then I wanted to choose a lip gloss product. I actually picked two. The first one is the Revolution Nudes Collection Lip Gloss. This one is in the shade Skinny Deep, and this one is kind of a cool toned mauve shade, but I really love this color and it's very pigmented. And then I have another NYX product, this is the Butter Gloss, and it's in the shade Tiramisu. So this is a very popular lip gloss color, and I think it's very, very nice on the lips. It also smells like uh, strawberries and cream, I think. So yeah, this is a very good gloss. 
And then finally I have one setting spray that really stood out in 2018 that is another product from Primark. This is the PS Fix and Perfect setting spray and I think that this one is very very good. It was again for euros. This has a really good spray, it creates kind of a fine mist and yeah, I think that as a setting spray this one is very good. So yeah, these are all of my 2018 makeup favorite products and if you have tried any of these then let me know in the comments below and also if you have different favorites then let me know in the comments, maybe I will try some of those. And then if you liked today's video then don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and subscribe for new videos every week and yeah that is everything for today thank you so much for watching bye hello Olá, câmera. Bonita? Bonita.